Here is a picture of a female physicist. She has come all the way in a thin but strong body. She led the theoretical research of semiconductor physics in China. Besides, her book Semiconductor Physics became one of China's most widely used physics textbooks. Do you know who is she? Why do we talk about her today? Well, her name was Xieshida, she was born on March 19, 1921. She was called the mother of China's semiconductor. After entering the 20th century, all countries around the world are striving to improve the development of semiconductors. Nowadays, semiconductors have become vital elements in many fields, like supercomputers, smartphones and digital recorders. And this incredible woman have contributed a lot to China's semiconductor development. In 1977, Xie founded the Fudan Institute of Modern Physics, and served as its director from 1978 to 1983. As the president of Fudan University, Xie encouraged teachers and students to study abroad and trained several scientists in the semiconductor field. As long as my heart is still beating, I will always fight for the progress of science, Xie said. After all these, I bet you feel like knowing more about such a legendary woman. In this video, we will not only cover her story of being a scientist, an educator, but also her love story which is also fascinating. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on today's topic. We can begin from the day when everything started. In March 1921, Xie Shida was born in Chihu in Fujian province. His father Xie Yuming graduated from Yenqing University, and his mother Gui Yujin was a top student at Xiamen University. Then we come to her love story. Xie Shida and Kao Tianqin are rivals with each other, but she had not realized that this person, only one year older than she was, would become her company in her entire life. Then the sudden war interrupted her study time. After the outbreak of the anti-Japanese war, Xie Shida and Kao Tianqin separated. She was admitted to the Department of Physics of Hune University during the displacement, but had to drop out of the school due to a sudden tuberculosis of the hip joint. Hospitals do not have a good treatment method for tuberculosis. People who get this disease will be bedridden for a long time, and the severe cases will be paralyzed for life. At the time, the most prevailing way of treatment was to put a cast on the patient's leg to allow the bacteria to die. Sieshida then decided to tie herself up in a plaster cast and lay on the bed for four years. Such pain, in my point of view, is unbearable. However, it is clear that all people, who have ever made some achievement in life, have some special qualities that are admirable, and they are so precious that are worth learning from. We are convinced that her persistence and toughness had not only in her early age but also in her latter life played a vital role. Let's continue to find out more about it. At the darkest moment of her life, she received a thick letter and it was Kao Tianqin who sent her the letter. In the letter, in addition to Kao Tianqin's encouragement to her to overcome the disease, there are also mathematical calculations full of letter paper. Xie Shida read out the shy Kao Tianqin's concern and admiration for him. Slowly, these academic exchanges, letters became something Xie Shida looked forward to every day. The former classmates gradually fell in love with each other. With the encouragement of love, Xie Shida, who was sentenced to death penalty by the doctor, miraculously stood up from the sick bed. She also relied on self-study to be admitted to the Department of Mathematics and Physics of Xiamen University and returned to campus. And this is how they became eventually a couple. Both of them at that time were studying abroad before getting married. After they got married in the UK, they couldn't wait to set out on their way home to serve their motherland. And just at that time, she officially started the road of contributing to her motherland. In 1956, the country wanted to establish its own semiconductor talent pool, and it was hoped that Xie Shida would come to Beijing to preside over the work. But at that time, her son was only five months old, and it was the time when she could not be separated from her mother. 
On one side is the call of the motherland, and on the other side is the child who is waiting to be fed. With little hesitation, she left her husband and son in tears and rushed to Beijing. With the efforts of Xieshida and others, semiconductor physics, which will affect the whole of China in the future, was completed in only two years. At the same time, the first single crystal silicon, the first semiconductor material and the first transistor were born. The most important thing is that more than 300 scholars trained by Xieshida became academicians, university professors and enterprise engineers respectively. In 1978, she was elected president of Fudan University, and she also became the first female president of China. As the principal, Xieshida was very far-sighted. She opened the Department of Surface Physics, which was just also a newly invented subject at that time in the whole world. Besides, she also established the American Research Center to promote Chinese students to know about the United States. Decades later, when we look at her decision, we cannot help but admire her foresight. After years of hard work, Xieshida finally ushered in the end of her life. Xieshida passed away in Shanghai on March 4, 2000. Overnight, thousands of paper cranes folded by students hung on the branches in the hospital. Like her husband Kao Tianqin, Xieshida wrote in her will, Donate my body to the Chinese medical cause. At the end of his life, Xieshida still wanted to do his last for his beloved motherland. Xieshida is the founder of semiconductor physics in China. She has made outstanding achievements in the theoretical research of physics, quantum devices and electronic properties of heterostructures, and has cultivated several leading talents in the field in China. She served as the president of Fudan University and made outstanding contributions to the development of higher education in China, the establishment and development of physics research institutions, international exchanges and cooperation in the field of science and education, and the work of the Society of Physics. An educator until the end, she donated her body to scientific research after her death. Now it is the 101st anniversary of Xieshida, and we are convinced that her spirit is everlasting and will affect all, not only from China but also from all of the world, to make contribution to human civilization. Apart from the huge contribution to semiconductor studies in China, she had contributed a lot more important to the world. In other words, she had, with her deeds, proven to the world what it is to have faith. In the end, we hope that we can have more people like her in our world to make it a better place to live. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.